Hey guys, um, I'm showing you a video on how to breed your own superworms for, uh, to feed your reptiles or whatever else you need them for. Um, the reason I'm doing this is because I have a leopard gecko colony, and after a while, feeding all those mouths, it just costs a lot of money when it all adds up. Well, uh, yeah, I'm just looking to save a little bit of money here, and hopefully this will work for me. Um, I looked on websites and I was checking out other videos on YouTube and this is the most common kind of thing that came up so I thought I would give it a try. Um, and what they are in right now is actually a talk tackle box. You can buy them at any like outdoor store. This for seven bucks. I got that for seven bucks and I got that bigger one down there for I think eight bucks. That one's twice as big. But uh. Yeah, uh, in here they have all these little doors, these slidey doors that come, that go up and down, and you can place them wherever you want. Um, but the thing is, they don't give you nearly enough doors, so you just kind of have to make your own compartments. I, I guess, evenly came out with 18. Looks pretty nice. Um, and I have 18 separate mealworms in here, or superworms, sorry. And the thing about superworms is they have to be alone to turn into pupa as I was told and uh, unlike mealworms they could be together um, so I have them in all these compartments so they are alone and uh, I don't have any food or anything in there so they turn into pupa faster because I was told that starving them turns them into pupa faster um, which it turns them into beetles um, well the next step is when they all turn into pupa and when they all turn into beetles I will put them into like a different tank all together and all they will do they don't live too long they live I think a week or two I think correct me if I'm wrong but uh, all they do in that period is just breed and eat and poop and uh, I mean say you have 12 superworms when they all breed you come out with like 40 of them um well that that's what I thought was good and uh, when they all die you just take out all the carcasses and then you have all these little mealworms running around and all you do is feed them and get them up to size and, f size and feed them to your uh, geckos and uh, I thought that was going to be a really good idea um, as you can see I'm not nearly done with this They're, none of them are even showing signs of even going into pupa but uh, I'll keep you updated on this um, and uh, thanks for watching